going forward, what, what is the future look like for you? Trust is a big problem now with AI because AI hallucinates and there are limits to sort of the pattern matching type of logic that yeah. AI is using now. Um, it's incredibly powerful, but it's not always right. What we've done is we have built all of the validations and verifications along the way to make sure that the data you're pulling is correct. Um, and if you're using AI to enrich the data, we have strong capabilities in the platform to not only audit and govern every step of the way, but also to create evidence trails right. and audit trails of exactly how, some, how data was um, collected, the provenance of the data, how it was enriched um, every step of the way so that you drive trust. We've created all of those views for the various stakeholders so they can go in on their own schedule and see exactly what's happened, what version was live, when, what was in it. Um, we also, because it's a low code platform, we're using reusable building blocks of automation um, that make it much easier to present sort of documentation of these automated agents. And we have this human readable format that anyone can read. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to be a Python programmer. I think we think low code matters 95% of the time and that remaining 5% you have to write actual code to customize. So we support you know, Python, C Sharp, regular expression, and JavaScript customization. So uh, the key is efficiency, trust making trust. Sh transparency and trust, um, and, you know, making sure it really, really works, like it's bulletproof. Terrific. Yeah, Terrific. so that's... And ultimately user-friendly by the sounds of it. So. Very user-friendly. You can get started in minutes. We've we've just released the Squentum Cloud, okay. so you don't have to install anything, not even an extension in your browser. And you can, you know, immediately start pulling data or even just exploring what data is available on various sites that you're curious about.